Hey guys, in this video we're going to create uh, this e-commerce landing page uh, in Adobe XD. So by the end of this video you're going to learn uh, all sorts of tips and tricks uh, and uh, also my personal workflow when approaching uh, this kind of website designs uh, in Adobe XD. And by the way, I'm also uh, creating a course uh, on XD. So in the future, Wix uh, is going to be available and uh, you're going to see it uh, in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in uh, leveling up your design workflows and uh, learn UI UX design in uh, the best and most efficient way possible, I left uh, a, all sorts of uh, links in the description below. So feel free to check them out. Uh, and uh, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So let's get started and let's create uh, this uh, e-commerce landing page. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a few rectangles which are going to serve us uh, for the structure of uh, this project. So I'm just going to duplicate them a few times so I can have uh, a basic idea of uh, the structure. And probably I'm just going to move them here and enlarge them just a tiny bit. So we have the border um, ones uh, basically uh, going outside of the main canvas. So the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a top structure and I'm also going to use as a reference this space right here to keep it in mind for the text and also for the other elements that we're going to use. And also over here, let's add this one here, which is going to be where a I think the PS5 controller is going to be located. So yeah, that's uh, that. And uh, now let's create the actual buttons. So I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna click on text and uh, for, well, let's, let's write back over here. And uh, for this specific uh, UI design, we're going to use Montserrat, which is a free Google web fund. So if you simply Google Montserrat, you're going to find the, to see the uh, right away. And uh, by the way, I'm also going to add the keyboard viewer. All right. So that you can see each and every, um, basically uh, each and every uh, keyboard <laughs> uh, that, uh, that I use. So let's go ahead over here and let's change the font. Or actually, let's change the fill before that. And I'm going to try and make it with uh, the same theme uh, as the PlayStation Store. So we kind of like want to go with, with those directions, more or less. Actually, it's going to be quite different than, than I'm thinking about it, but you get the idea. Just something that's going to be good with uh, the gaming uh, um, gaming uh, design. So, all right, it's going to be the back button. We're also going to open up Nucleo. And uh, here we go. And by the way, Nucleo is a, a um, free icon manager software. So simply go on Google and uh, type in Nucleo app and you're going to find it right away. Now there's premium libraries, there's also like default libraries. Uh, feel free to use any any library that you prefer. There's also some uh, uh, set of icons which you can download pretty much for free, which are called uh, Fedra icons. And uh, they're pretty cool for these kind of designs. So feel free to check them out as well. And uh, I'm by no means like affiliated, it's just you know, icons that I recommend. Uh, used in several projects, so I have quite a good experience with uh, with those. So let's go ahead here and let's continue and uh, make the radius way bigger. All right, so this is looking good. Let's make the arrow bigger and uh, let's uh, try and uh, make this part uh, Duplicate. All right. Going to click on settings. We're probably going to change up all of these things, but I just want to have base going. And uh, whenever I'm starting a new design from scratch, I always like to um, just 
experiment with a few ideas at the start and then go more granular and you know refine the design as I see fit during the project. So here we go. This one's going to become blue. And so far so good. All right. So we're going to give it a, a name and this is going to be the um, PS5 section. Or actually, let's just name it PlayStation because I'm about to actually add the the Xbox uh, section as well. And I have, I can't recall on top of my mind how the new Xbox is, is called, which is quite unforgiving if uh, you're a gamer. And uh, so, yeah, <laughs> just bear with me on that. All right, so change the border and let's remove the fill. Cool, so I think we're heading somewhere with this. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. Now, what I would uh, ideally need uh, is uh, on the very right, uh, <clears throat> some sort of like card icon. And uh, that would do. Yes, let's check that it's not too big or too small. And uh, I think the way I'm gonna do this is um, two items. Yes, maybe give it a shot and try something around these lines. And you no, know, again, it's still about like having the base going at the start. And then we're going to go more granular as we work on the project, but yeah, for the most part, that would do. So cool. Um, another thing that we want to do over here is to round these guys up quite a bit. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these guys, but yeah, let's just keep it like this for now. I'm going to Okay, this is 41, this is 47, let's bring it up 41. All right, yep. This will do, and uh, let's click on this. Hmm, still not too sure about the, about the spacing, but um, yeah, overall, I think it's, uh, it's okay. I'm still wondering what I'm gonna put in inside here. I haven't really thought it out before starting <laughs> to, to record this, but uh, we're going to figure out something. So I'm gonna go with paste appearance. And uh, so far, so good. Also going to have a like button. Hmm, is there two or kill? Some, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, for a heart. Maybe that's what I would uh, need to type in. Like a simple heart, nothing too, too fancy. Um, okay, I should be going to use this one. I'm just going to remove the, the hand, I guess. Cool. All right. And we're probably going to change the, the color. I'm gonna go with more hard color, maybe. Let's give it a shot. I'm not too sure about it. Um, yeah, just going to make it a feel. Um, yeah, 
as it was already. <laughs> so let's go ahead here to make it a little bit less. Yeah, something around these lines would do. Cool. Let's make it 14 of opacity and um, yeah, we're I think we're good to go. So, 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 so let's create the text. This is going to be new consoles. We're going to write here PlayStation 5. And we're going to increase the font size. We're also going to use, uh, and by the way, I think that I'm going to use some accessories here. Um, I just made my mind up. So, all right. New consoles. Maybe let's make this one just a little bit of more, like some more distance between one letter and the other. Let's give it a little bit less um, opacity in color, or actually just make it more gray. <laughs> I guess that would uh, be the most appropriate thing. Um, in two to four business days. And I'm just going to remove all the letter spacing here. Maybe change the, the weight to light. Hmm, okay. So overall, it's starting to look pretty good. And uh, I see where we're going with this. Which is always a good thing when you're starting something from scratch. All right. Let's just duplicate these guys a few times. Um, this is going to be blue and we're going to remove the borders um, yeah I mean the borders are going to to be back in the other two in just a moment or actually let's just make it a great feel and what we're gonna do now is we're going to reduce the opacity in this one here this is going to be around 12% and we're good to go. All right, it's perfect. And uh, let's move this up a little bit. And we're also going to add some sort of call to action to give more details. All right, sounds good. Now let's go ahead over here. Let's make this one blue. And let's add an arrow. Perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this arrow. And we're, I think we're good to go. Um, just want some sort of divider here. I'm actually questioning if maybe a divider could be helpful or, or not. Let's give it a shot. And let's see if this uh, divider is working. All right, perfect. Bring it to the right. And uh, let's uh, just uh, continue with this. Okay, so far so good. I think we have pretty much everything. And uh, one more thing I would like to add is some sort of like extra options at the very bottom. So this is going to be a question mark. Uh, of some sorts, which we're going to add right here. So 
All right, so this overall, it's looking good. I think for the question mark, I'm going to go with uh, a more of a gradient. And uh, also for the feel of the question mark itself. All right, so this overall, it's uh, looking good in my opinion. And uh, now we're going to add like a very big controller here and uh, yeah, let's uh, so let's do that. I'm just going to hop on Safari, PS5 controller. And uh, I really hope I find a PNG of these guys. Um, Ideally, I want the white one. Is this a PNG? Yes. Amazing. Perfect. So, cool. Oh, damn it. I think I didn't expect that this form wouldn't work as well as I thought. <laughs> um, it's a little bit. It's, it's not really a high, um, like super high definition. Um, let me go over here in the settings. Uh, not the search settings. Mm, it's under more tools. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Size large, I guess. And, uh, uh I guess we'll need to just live with that one, which is okay. Um, ideally, if I could have found something even like bigger, or maybe let's let's give it a shot and just have a PS5 stacked on top. So 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 so. PS5, PS5, not seeing the one that I'm really looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name and give it a shot this time. And this should actually work. So yeah, maybe I'm going to go with, with this. Um, one thing that I'll need to do is to actually open up Photoshop and uh, I'll probably have to remove uh, so the past photo and now oh got stuck i'm putting it in the second screen but okay yeah it's uh <laughs> it's working now perfect so here we go photoshop i'll just shrink it so that you guys can see what i'm doing and uh, here we go i'm trying to remove this yeah I managed to remove this, which is an accomplishment in and of itself. And uh, cool. I'm just gonna save this to the desktop um, PS5. Just out of uh, laziness, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I regularly clean up my desktop, but. Yeah, for this kind of thing, it's... Oh, maybe here we can put like all sorts of different controllers. So yeah, that, that might work pretty well, actually. So here's our PS5. Just going to stack it uh, like this. Um, going to try and make the borders touch. And uh, cool. Um, and then here we can have all sorts of different PS5 controllers, I guess. Since I, I saw quite a few. Or actually, I haven't, but yeah, I mean, different colors. Um, what's that? I see, a, I, I, I saw a few of those before. Um, colors. Maybe the PNG part is, is kind of like messing up the the search results. Oh damn, this, this looks nice. 
Hmm. Looking for something that which is like very vibrant in tonality. Hmm. Maybe we're just going to use the PS4 controller colors because I'm not really seeing a, a way out of this anytime soon if we just use those. All right. I mean, we're in the PlayStation section anyway, so I guess we can uh, close an eye if you wish. So here we go. And uh, let's find another one. Um, possibly without a shadow just to maintain the consistency between one another. Oh, this looks amazing. Gold, of course. Of course. This controller is gonna be a top gamer in no time. <laughs> uh, not sure about the this fits in with the design but probably it's it's okay we'll give it a pass so all right this one is it's pretty cool or even this one which is kind of like the, the regular controller and by the way i think uh, some of these are scaf controllers which are the, the ones that pro gamers gamers use and uh, they're pretty cool. I actually almost got one of those. Um, then I decided it wasn't really a, a purchase right for me as I'm not really good at video games anyways and um, probably not the best bang for my bucks <laughs> when it comes to my priorities. But yeah, it can be fun. So bring to the front okay and probably we're gonna add like a, a big um, shadow here some sort maybe you can make it with you know, like this color yeah we're just going to turn it down a little bit i want to have some more blur yep all right so so far so good we're also, oh damn, this, this one looks amazing. Um, so what we're gonna do next uh, is we're going to find a controller with similar colors. All right, this one, definitely. I'm, I'm quite sure this is either a SCAF or one of those uh, gaming controllers, like the, the pro gaming ones. So definitely, uh, good and let's bring this one here let's bring this one substitute it over here and uh, let's add uh, one more controller and I think we're ready to call it a day <laughs> when it comes to this uh, um, screen right here and uh, let's uh, Try and find something which is kind of like neutral, like one of these. Mm, I just need a little bit of less white space around it. And uh, okay, yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Mm, big image. And again, let's bring this guy to the front because he definitely deserves it. And um, yeah, I think we're we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, maybe let's just clean it up real, real quick. We're not going to go into any details uh, whatsoever because again it's not the client project so I'm not going to really 
focus all that much uh, into the to the layers but i just want to to have like a basic um layering system going on so this is going to be header left this is going, this is going to be header right this is the ps5 oops ps5 yep these are the controllers Some left <clears throat> text and bottom right uh, items. All right, so really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. In the on my channel, I have over 300 videos on UI UX design and uh, all sorts of different software tutorials and things like that. I've been a UI UX designer for over eight years and. Uh, yeah, I'm basically sharing my experience uh, over there. So if you're interested, feel free to check it out. And also don't forget to check out the links uh, in the description. I will have uh, all sorts of different uh, free and premium uh, resources, which can help you both learn UI UX design and also speed up your workflow. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.